Okay, so welcome to the live stream today of uh, Sawtell Panthers versus the Arara Valley Axemen. Uh, we just had a minute silence there for Scott Howard, uh, Sawtell Panthers Jr. So both sides paying their respects there um, before kicking off today. Okay, so almost ready for kickoff. Sure are, sure are. Um, just repeating the two earlier scores, the ladies league tag, Arara Valley, 20 points to six resounding winners, reserve grade, Sawtell getting the points, 32 points to 10. So we're ready for kickoff here in first grade. Arara Valley with first use of the ball. Bud there with the first hit up of the game and it's a beauty. So good good energy first up to start the game. So the boys are all juiced up and ready to go. Oh, good energy here as well from the from the Arara play the ball. Oh, can he get up? Here we go. Yeah, he can. There we go. Can he get up? There we go. Yeah, he can. Liam's duck back to fullback. He's been doing that for a couple of weeks, which is good. Now you're probably watching watching the field and you're probably thinking, well Connor's back on the wing. Well it's not. It's Jared Gill. He's playing out there. Right. He wanted to say he wanted to say Jared Bird. I was like, no, mate, you can't have my name. You're Jared Gill. Well, look how fast he is. I didn't think he was that fast. <laughs> yeah, good first set there. He runs right. after the ball like he runs after his women. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, having a nice drink here, and the man who sold it to me said, oh, you're doing the commentary with my son. <laughs> he was your dad. That's right. That's uh, good old Don Corp in the... <laughs> in the bar there helping out as usual yeah, so we see slow, the slow play of the ball here and oh time. boy doesn't he have words <laughs> yeah. not much Very yeah. few words. <laughs> but uh, you know there was a question we asked a couple of weeks ago about where did the bell come from um, as Liam Dunn takes that ball on the full good question yeah. oh, oh. A bit of a shoulder charge there oh Okay, the Sawtell defender. Comes okay, on. the Sawtell defender's more hurt than Liam is. Bit of concern That's like going into a car, actually. High speed. Wow. Just run straight into the pole. Oh, the camera guy's changed, by the way. Kyle's on. <laughs> you see Kyle there? Kyle's come on, worked with us very closely. He's actually all his equipment, and he's definitely made us funnier as we've gone along. Now it looks like we might need the stretcher. By the way, I'll get back to the bell story later. Do you think this might need a stretcher? Yeah, there's a bit of concern here. So I actually thought the lane would be more injured. They came at each other very quickly and Sawtell Panthers trying to find out which player it is come off second best, but I have discussed with Liam's dad. I said, well, well Dave, why don't I just give some of Liam my way? Maybe he'll be fine. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't work he like is, that. Uh, he is moving. Okay, so we've got confirmation he's moving there from cameraman. Soto players helped off the field here. Round of applause. Looks like he's got a bloody nose. So not a bad crowd building. Well, well, I think they're they'd all be here by now if they were coming. But um, fair bit of support for Arara around, so good to see. Number 17 is going to replace him, uh, injured player here, so which is good to see. Different name was also playing in reserve, yeah. JD McKetchnan, so he comes onto the field. And I can guarantee you, when that kid got hit by Liam, he got hit by pure bone, <laughs> nothing else. 
the low pass. Big Rubbo Robson Jared. He's uh, you should really just know his weight loss story. It's fantastic. It's really inspiring. Oh, there goes the sheep. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the bell. Yes, the bell. So story. the bell was originated from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. They pinched it from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And um, yeah, that's how we ended up with the bell. How long ago was that? I think it was like 20 years ago. Nice. It's very loud. It does the job. Michael Bunt there. No, Spiral sorry. Hard. <laughs> Whoops. Michael Bunt's another person. Buddy Hart there. Penalty blown. <laughs> He's caught a high tackle there. There's also probably some hands in the in the ruck there trying to pull the ball out, but it's also got the penalty either way and work their way upfield. The dark clouds starting to gather around the ground. It's gotten darker. Got Rubbo there doing well. I shouldn't say big, he's, he's looking pretty good. So Sorto looking pretty sharp on attack here. We sure are. Not a bad start. Oh, he's done a cheaper in the middle. To held. All right, we see Urara come, come work their way back out of the field, um, out of their own half. We can, as you see, a nice little scoot here from, from the hooker. Oh, he does well. Eventually brought down the 40, so... Testing first set here. Don't blame down there for dummy half. Jared Roberts brought down, and it's the last tackle, so... Interesting thought. If I played in the team, there'd be three Jareds. Thanks for that, Jared. <laughs> uh, it's a penalty. Kick it taken out late, so... Arara, excellent opportunity here. 20 metres out from the try line, they go on the attack, trying to put first points on the board. Which is good. Uh, shout out to McKeeley too. McKeeley Dunn, watching her brother play at the moment. And with her partner, John. John's pretty good. John's also got the last name Dunn. Interesting. And uh, yeah, shout out to those guys. Hello, and everyone. Uh, everyone watching at home. They're watching okay. from Newcastle. There you go. Which is great. And uh, as we can see, there's a break in play at the moment. Having a chat there, chatting about a few things. Uh, probably got car insurance, things like that. <laughs> Radio. Way to get the best deal. Yeah. yeah. That's, well, that's what I chat about. Yeah. Right about. I like to hold up the whole play just to talk about absolute nonsense. Eventually back underway now. Everyone's got their, got a breather. Big Jared, big, big, big Roberts there. Big, 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 big. I don't know the start of it, I might do. Oh. Tough call there. Might have been a bit of a hand or a foot in the play the ball, but you know, called not no on. one's yelled at how much is the ref being paid. <laughs> not yet. It's early days. So it's still no change to the Chris Beslick excavation scoreboard. Brand new scoreboard sponsor there. It's looking nice. So is the phone number underneath his phone number, obviously? Yeah, I think so. Can't really see it at the moment, but the kids are standing in front of it. But kids are. They're doing a great job keeping the score updated over there with Jerry's over there now too by the look of it. So oh, yeah, Jerry has made his way over there. Once again, I kids have, doing all the work uh, and Jerry watching. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, are you going to be doing the scoreboard? And he goes, yeah, mate, I'll, I'll make my way over there. 
Yeah, he's probably looking at his phone, probably looking how great Parramatta's playing. Oh, he's, he's a big he lost Parramatta it from guy. the back of the scrum here, Sawtell, so immediately pressure back on Sawtell for ooh, early in the match, but let's see if Moreau can put the first points on. This is good, this is good stuff. I'm not going to say anything about people scoring because in the last game I did that and put the mocker on. It didn't go well. The mocker? Yeah, the mocker. Oh, white with one thing. <laughs> So coming from the outside, oh, no. yeah, he's lost it there, he's held up there. Another tackle. I'm pretty much saying everything you're watching right now. Calling it out left That's here. exactly how commentary works. Oh, beautiful ball. Oh, up, up the valley. Oscar Watson there goes in for the first try of the match. Any saw tell people watching, we'll take your memberships now. That Join is the Ohara Valley Expo. Oscar Watson. Beautiful. Beautiful play there. Beautiful. Nice little run there on the edge. You love to see it. First points of the day go to Ohara Valley. 4 0. Kick the cup. Kick to cup. Uh, Buddy Hart's usually the kicker, and he will be taking the kick, depending what side of the field they on. They are on. He usually will take the kick. Interesting too. NBN hasn't rocked up yet. Yeah. They might be just taking out ex excellent coverage straight from. Well, yeah, they're probably watching us and going, "Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's all we need." I think they're expecting to get, to get a call up soon from NBN, so... Yeah, I probably will. Yeah. I'm so confident, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> and Buddy lines it up to take the kick. He kicks balls all the time. Is it Buddy? Actually, that's not Buddy. Back Macklem. And as we watch, everyone just scram. And I have to take the table wet because it's coming. And uh, here's a little break right now as the table's being moved. Oh, da 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 da. That should be enough. And the conversion wasn't that special because it was in the middle of raining and everyone just moved. <laughs> so. So the conversion there was successful? Zach Macklem with the conversion. Sorry, I didn't mention Buddy Hart. Right? Oh, Touchy getting involved here. Bit of a swack. Kane doesn't like Touchy. The Touchy has his flag up. The Touchy has his flag up. <laughs> he has his flag up, but he's not really rushing in to stop the play of it. He's got his flag up. Yeah, you wave that flag, buddy. Oh, it's down. Okay, what's going to happen now? Last time I saw a bloke wave a flag that high was at Mardi Gras. <laughs> Bit of heavy rain falling now. Cooling everyone down. As we see tensions boil over a little bit earlier here. Yeah, Bill, let's come in here. Come in here, we'll have a chat. Well, you cut me on chat. I can just describe for you here. Mate, you cut me on the road coming in. You cut me off and you took my parking spot. <laughs> you're in trouble and you're also in trouble and you'll be faced with a $200 fine. Go away now and head to the bin where you can think about your driving options. Jacob Dollar sent to the sin bin. That's, that's a long walk too, but luckily he's running so that makes it shorter. Bit of uh, action here in the crowd as well. So yeah, there was a bit too. Lady got really passionate. Once again, if you come to the games, just make sure you you know get passionate, but not disrespectful to the point where you will be asked to leave, and there'll be no hesitation about it. Okay, so Rara awarded the penalty. We're gonna have an extra man on the field for ten minutes. 
Jason Dollar from Sawtell said for Simbin. Great kick there. Takes them up over halfway for a full set. Good to see. Oh, great ball. Oh, Liam Dunn. And the Dunn. back to Liam Dunn. Draws the defender in. That is champagne rugby league. It sure Run. is. It's good stuff. Well, Liam's family is watching. Ronan Singleton with the try and there. The only dream they want for Liam is to put more weight on. I just don't think that's going to happen. But hey, good try, Sid. That's a try there to a run. Number four, Rowan Singleton. Rowan takes it, the score out to a run of 10. And the kick to come. Yeah, so out to a 10 0 lead now as the rain continues to fall here at Cranmer Sports Ground. We've got. The hooker, Zach Macklin, lining things up. <laughs> yeah. And then he takes a couple of steps back, ready for the kick. Taking his time. Here, he's just going to kick it. Our buddy would have done. Anyway, uh, it's all right. Okay, so the conversion's waved away. Zach Macklin misses his first kick of the day. So we're about 12 minutes into the game. Got a 10 0 lead to Aurora Valley. A bit of a Big tough Kano for the run up there. A bit of a tough kick off to handle there in the wet, especially, but yes. he's knocked it back, fortunately, for Aurora. Now, I have to say his name's Jared Gill, because if I say Hall, he gets angry. <laughs> I was like, I'll just call you Jared Bird and make it easier. Okay, the ball comes loose here in the tackle, and it's called a knock on, so. Now, well, he's got wear from his touchy. It's, uh, it's been uh, ripped out there. Was that so from the touchy? Yeah. yeah so good work there from the touchy. The row with the penalty. So, kick the touch, takes them just up onto halfway now. They go back on the attack. Let's see what they can do here. It's a nice little shift earlier on that try from. Uh, the halfback Luke Beaumont out the back to the Dunny. So. Oh, did a little rush first. He was meant to play it. I'll tell you what, the touchies have been very busy in the opening 15 minutes of the game. Sure, even though it is raining, the crowd's still stuck around. Yeah, a big chunk of it. It's great. Okay. He's warning Sawtell here. I think he did a back chat or something. So Touchy's very busy early in the game. Touchy is very busy because he's another 40, penalty. He's 40 meters within. They've been marched. A little bit of back chat. So Rara now going to be deep on the attack. Yeah. As the rain comes straight into the commentary box, straight onto the camera too, I imagine. So hopefully you guys are seeing things alright there at home. It's good too because the camera's like got the. Like a rain jacket over it, so. Mm. Oh, you see the dummy from the hooker. Great run there. Gets through a couple of tackles. Brought down eight metres short of the line. Oh, oh Dunn's pass. Um, spilled by Sawtell, so six again to Arara. Which Arara will definitely take. No, 
Another strong hit up here from Jared Roberts. Good start. They're going to go down just short of the line. Looks like they're going to try and spread it right here. Big cut out ball. Oh, dummy from Luke Beaumont, the halfback. So, Sawtell hanging tough here. Oh, dummy. No, dummy. Dummy from the dummy. Oh, dummy. And he's taken dummy down and a big tackle there. Gets straight back up. Oh, and the, and the pass there. Knocked down. Thank you. We'll sir. take the penalty. Okay, and they've also kicked the ball away too, so that's going to slow things down. But Rara will get the ball back eventually here. A couple of metres out from the line. Full set of six. A couple of calls to settle. Settle. Got to love that. Settle things down. Set up for a bit of a play on the left, I reckon. It usually just kind of pisses people off the line, but I don't know. <laughs> A big wing in there from Terry. Yeah, right. Terry out the back here. Dummy from Buddy Hart. Goes oh, straight Buddy Hart running up the middle. Oh. Ah, he lost it. He lost it. Okay. Oh. Mistake there, unfortunately. Okay, so Sawtell off the hook for now. They'll get the ball. 10 metres out from their own try line. Arara leading 10 points to nil. Pressure on, force a mistake here from Sawtell. Still a little bit of light rain, if you can see that on the coverage there at home. Nothing too heavy, but it's eased a little bit since earlier when we had the table incident where we had to move our commentary table back from the rain. And wasn't that enough? That was a true crisis. Second biggest crisis of the day behind the stopwatch oh, scenario yeah. in reserve road. When we ran short of stopwatches. Yeah, it was great. So, anyway, Sawtell here. Nice little, nice little play. Work it up over the over the halfway. So nice set. Let's see if they can finish strong here. Uh, <coughs> great take by Liam Dunn in the wet. So safe as safe as a bank there. Teams on the field now. Billy Dollar takes a hit up. <laughs> oh, oh see the the short side there, spreading it. That was the last last tackle, so that's a handover. Right on halfway, so Sawtell should get pretty close to the line if they can. As you see the rain coming in sideways here, not too heavy, but still you know, tough, pain. tough I washed, conditions. I watched my car yesterday. Yeah. And this is the way. Always the way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's still a minute 40 for the uh, Solitel player left in the sin bin. They were spreading it right on the right hand side. Yeah, he got held. As you can see. <laughs> Still ten nil to Arara. Great oh. take. Oh, that's Buddy Hart it looks like taking a break for Thank <laughs> you. 
He gets a penalty as well. Great job. Okay, so back down the other end now. And I think the Sawtell player will all, almost be back on the field by the time they get things back underway. So we're back to 13 on 13. You know what? Aren't you glad I'm not doing the stopwatch? Because I completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot that he was on the stopwatch. So, Rara on the attack here, 25 metres out. Someone's still a player about to make his way back onto the field. And here he goes. So, brother, brother against brother, here we go. He's back on the field. Uh, Jacob versus Billy. So, Billy in number 14 for Arara and Jacob just returning to the field from the Simbin. A brotherly matchup. You love to see it. I did that once, but it was in day four. <laughs> and we lost. <laughs> Here we go, they're gonna... Oh really? Oh look, we just listened to that. It's a pre-game interview with Mum on the Facebook page. Make sure you check that one out. And, uh, Here we go. Mum said, whoever loses, she'll no longer love. <laughs> Anyway, back to the football. Uh, uh, you see them make a tackle on each other there. No love lost there. Look at that. There you go. As the rain gets a little bit heavier here at Karamba Sports Ground. A few umbrellas up. A few Bunnings umbrellas. A few? <laughs> Holy smoke. They're all Bunnings umbrellas. <laughs> They're staying dry is just the beginning. They're not a sponsor. Though. They should be. Few people braving the rain on the opposite ends of the field there and over in that lone grandstand. Good on them. True fans, those ones. Loving it. As you see a nice kick there from Sawtell. Down the ground. And Dunn fields it off the foot. Nice work there. He slowed it down. Lovely. Oh, look at the speed of him. Flash. <laughs> Beautiful run. He could, jump, he could jump and just glide through the air if he wanted to. Like one of those seagulls. It's got some speed, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, as you see Billy Dollar take a hit up. His brother there in the action too. Oh, number 10. mistake there for Marara unfortunately it was on just a pass went, went astray there so score remains 10 points to nil to Marara it's the early advantage not too bad just seeing how much we got left in that half 17 minutes well, we got a bit of a break in play here. I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed the Garlo's pie I had at uh, pre-game. Get some chips in it too. Thin on pastry, yeah, big right. on taste. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, cool. Great sponsors of the Aurora Valley Axman, so cheers to them. And Mercedes. Mercedes, if you want to give me a car, that's fine. <laughs> Mercedes, there you go. Great sponsors. I actually saw you driving your uh, Mercedes pre-game. Looking pretty flash. Yeah, definitely bought it. Yeah. It wasn't given to me. <laughs> or was it? No, it was. No, it wasn't. Okay, two in the tackle there, I think. So the penalty goes against the Rara and Sawtell. Right on the halfway. We'll kick the touch and go on the attack. Touch. Takes him right down to the 20 meter line. Full set of six here for Sawtell. Jacob Dollar's been busy since he's been back on from the Cindy. 
You sure are. It's got a lot to make up. Have you ever been sim binned? No. You see number three get close to the line? I think he lost it. I think he's dropped it. a bit of a noise from the crowd down there, so let's see what happens here. Caught, caught short. Play the ball. Uh, great bit of defense there from Rara. To shift it right, they've got a little bit of, bit of an overlap here, so I tell exactly what they do. Three on two. Oh, he's oh, lost wow. the ball. He fell down. Might be a scrum there, double knock on. Lost his footing there, so all right, good defense. Ten points to nil, leading. Yep. So you what? It's nice up in this. Really uh, lost that. What's happened here? Sawtell's forced an error, have they, with a bit of defense, so they're back on the attack. So anyway, it's nice being under the commentary box here, a bit of a roof while all this rain comes down. Yeah, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't want to be with a player, though. At least they can find a way to play football in a sheltered area. We saw, we saw Matthew Wakefield a lot come off for a well-earned break. So he's come to the bench. Did you know him from the Tigers? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. <laughs> ah. So number 15, John Tilly's on the field. Oh, struggling to get him down. So we've got uh, his mother running on the field. Time off for a bit of an injury here. <laughs> but just a person on the field, or is that a. Okay, so Sawtell's trainer has one of the brightest pair of shoes on I have ever seen. Holy smoke! They're brighter than his vest. It's a giving crossing. I love it. Fresh kicks. Is he warning people that he's walking everywhere? <laughs> there we go. Oh, big hit. Oh, he crashes over the big fella. Yeah, yeah, we love it. Oh, shut up. And that's Jacob Dollar. Crashes over for a try. I'm sure Mum will be proud about that one. Gets one over his brother. Remember, the winner gets the mother's love. The loser walks home with nothing. That's not true, but I feel like saying that. <laughs> So that brings uh, the score back to 10 points to 4 with a kick to come, we're in the lead, but Sawtell looking to close the gap in further here with the conversion. Nice, nice little uh, short play there for the prop forward, he barges his way over. As we uh, get a shot there of the new fresh scoreboard, Chris Beslick Excavations, the sponsor of the scoreboard. You can see his number there. Give him a call for all your excavation needs. Oh, wow, you can see the phone number now. That. Jerry doing a great job on the scoreboard there too. Yeah, he's doing a great job. You know, you know what the great thing is too. Jerry's doing a good job on the scoreboard. He's the only one in the umbrella, and he's made all the kids sit under the scoreboard. Conversion there from Damien Jumis, so Rara Valley 10 points to 6. Just a shout out 
So that was Jacob Dollar uh, bringing it back on the first hit up. He's been very busy, just scored that try as well. Obviously, he's been in a bit of everything, had a sin bin earlier. But yeah, ever since he's been back on the field, he's been quite strong in the middle there for Sortel. House of Golf too, Suspenser. Oh, wow. That's not good. That's excellent play from Sawtell. Bit of eyes up footy. What does that mean, by the way? <laughs> eyes up. Just people say it. Thank God a coach. I think a coach said that to me one time. I said, of course I'm going to keep my eyes up. I'm not going to look at the ground the whole time. This means just playing what you see, you know, like he's not being too structured. Ah. Oh, Damien Dumas. It's 10 apiece here now, so kick to come for Sortel. Got a game on our hands here. As you guys, the sideline kick. Still only a few minutes after this half. Eight minutes. Eight minutes left. shoes for the trainer doesn't put the kicker up. Just kicked it, kicked it too wide, it's unsuccessful. Still remains 10 all. Still remains 10 all. We've got a... Uh, so I've just got a shout out on uh, on text here from Glenn Sopa. Sopi's up in uh, Maryborough, Queensland watching the live stream. Hey so Maryborough, what's up? G'day Sopi. Go the Axman. Don't forget too, if you send us a text and you somehow get our numbers, we'll give you a shout out. Alright, so the rain's eased now for a little bit, so conditions a little bit better than they were at the start of the game, but I imagine the ball would still be pretty greasy out there, but... Definitely. Greasy, greasy balls. Balls, yes. <laughs> oh, big shot there. Jared Roberts. He's always got the big shots on him. He also can take the shot pretty well. Thank you. Not too bad. Excellent take there from Thomas Anderson on the wing. There you go, he's grand finalist in the under 16s back in the day. So I didn't see him come through. Oh wow, how old is he now? Good question. Old enough, over 16, I'd imagine. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't last week you played. <laughs> That's a good kick. That is an excellent kick behind the line. No one back there. It's going to roll into the in goal nearly. As we see the fullback for Sawtell work it out. Oh. 
Oh, a great, great chase there from Arara. Going to put some pressure on here. Try and get some points before half time. Ten all at the moment. I think we're hearing ourselves back. But we weren't in a good way. <laughs> Okay, so oh, oh that's they a lost mistake. it. Sawtell have lost it. It's a mistake. They've lost the ball. The big and prop forward minds. there. So five minutes on the clock here. Araro about to go on the attack. You would imagine, unless the ref has something else to say here. Yes, Araro will have the loose head and feed here. So going on the, the attack, 30 meters out. See if they can hit the lead just before half time. We've got the number seven here calling the shots. Luke Beaumont, nice little bit of footwork. Almost gets through. He's brought down just 20 metres out. It's Beaumont, they're, they're pretty well known in Dorigo. Big family in Dorigo. Oh, yeah. Checking that's where he's from. Possibly. Okay, as you see, the hooker take a little skewed out. Something's going to get there. Zach Macklin, so brought down just short of the line. Luke Beaumont spreads it out wide for his back row up. Sean Tilly, Sean Tilly's just just short of the line. As so we see a bit more rain come down. Short ball for Jared, Jared Roberts. Roberts. Can he get down low? Oh, oh, just God. short. All right, so Sawtell holding strong here for now. As we see Buddy Hart put a nice scrubber in. Oh, and it's knocked dead by Sawtell. So, dropout coming, more pressure. But a nice little kick in the in behind line from Buddy Hart. Forces a repeat set. Should be As we it. see the trainer bring out the uh, water for Sawtell with those flash kicks on. <laughs> I suppose the drink bottles ain't fluoro. Beautiful. We, you know, you know, what car he'll be driving home in some sort of work safety fluoro car. <laughs> you won't miss him. I still. Okay, for those of you that are holding doubles out there today, you're looking for home side eleven. Away side 10. Let's see what I've got. If you've got that, oh, it's uh, the take that ticket to the bar and collect your prize. So ten. Oh, close. Eleven and eleven. Eight and one. No, you lost. <laughs> Alright, so just double checking the doubles there. <laughs> That's right, us commentators, we do bet. <laughs> but we bet responsibly with blue bet. Okay, you didn't know, you used the things, but anyway. <laughs> Gotta support the club, money goes straight into the club throughout, so as we see a mistake. That's good stuff. Okay, so, looks like Sawtell is gonna escape here. Two minutes on the clock, 10 points all. Very tight game so far. So usually like first aid people wear like blue shirts or like league safe people wear blue shirts. But since it's so cold, some of the like league safe people have just put their normal jackets on. <laughs> so it just looks like a concerned parent running out to the field. Yeah. <laughs> oh he slipped. I actually thought there'd be more slipping. Yeah, they've done well so far. It must be uh, the field must be holding up all right. It seemed to have dried out a fair bit since uh, the Maxwell game we had here a few weeks ago. Oh that yeah, was that was terrible. Well. Yeah. Just kicked it and it's out on the floor. Okay, so. <laughs> Cups a bit of cheek there for kicking it out in the full, but it's going to give Arara another chance here just before the break. This 
A bit less than two minutes on the clock. Ten points all. Another chance. Only got, just, only got a minute or so left, is that right? That's right, just waiting for the ref. <laughs> this will be the last set of the first half. A oh, nice little bit of footwork there at the line. From Justin Hull. Justin Hull, great run. Also, ducking and getting get your flaws done too. Okay, calls him back inside, Buddy Hart. There's the Billy Dollar who's caught just over the 20 meter line. As we see Buddy Hart with the ball. Sh holds it up nicely, but ball goes to ground. So a couple of FUs probably on It's not on the ground. One set. All I need is just one set. One set, Liam. All right, so there's a penalty just before the break. I think the bell's just about to go shortly, so... So block your ears. <laughs> Everybody get ready for that. Off. But they're gonna have one last... This last, 30, this last 60 seconds, yo. One last use of the football, so it's out before the break. I know what I'll be doing at half time. I'll be getting a penalty off. As we hear. Oh, that's a fact, that's not a sponsor. Hang on, he's going to ring it. One more, one more. As he goes up. Okay, oh yeah, that's the half. That's the half time. Ten points all. Arara versus Sortel. Tries so far to Ronan Singleton. Um, we've also had a try from Oscar Watson for Arara. And on the other side, Dan Damien Dumas and Jacob Dollar with tries. So all square at half time. We'll see you just after the break and a message from our sponsors. Of Galo's Pies. Celebrating 20 years, and Galo's Pies are still bursting with flavour. Deliciously flaky pastry on top, a bottom rolled extra thin, and 100% lean Aussie beef. Yep, some things never change. An all Australian family owned and operated business producing only the best quality premium pies. Galo's Pies, still thin on pastry, still big on meat. Welcome to the new Mooney Beach Hotel. New food. New friends. The same family feels. The Mooney Beach Hotel, where it feels like family. Welcome to the Tolmina Hotel. The Tolmina Hotel, your place to celebrate on the coast. The Sawtell Hotel, Surfside Bar and Dining. Come and try the delicious menu. Friends, family and fun. Come and see us at the Sawtell Hotel. Mike Blue at Coffs Coast, a family business that's been there every step of the way with the local community for over 40 years now. Through the good times and the tough times, we've travelled the road together. But we don't just see ourselves as running a business here. After all, we're locals too. We raise our families here, enjoy the lifestyle here, and see our futures right here. A truly local business then, that's been giving back to the community through sponsorship of the Sawtell Surf Lifesaving Club, Coffs Ocean Swims, Wilgulga Curry Fest, Coffs Coast Tigers Junior Football, 
Coffs of Stedford and the now famous $5,000 cash draw giveaways. The dealership, which recently added the Mercedes-Benz Retailer of the Year to the many awards already received from Ford, Isuzu and Kia, also stock a large selection of locally traded vehicles for you to inspect on our website at any time. You can be assured that whatever the challenges ahead may be, Mike Blue at Coffs Coast will be right there, moving forward with you. Locally owned and operated, Coffs Harbour Hardwoods provide a wide range of beautiful hardwood timber products to Australia for over 50 years. We are specialists in hardwood timber, including flooring, decking and much more. Coffs Harbour Hardwoods. When people think of renewables, they think of wind farms or solar panels. But they don't think of forests or building with wood. Responsibly sourced wood is not only renewable, but sustainable too because it stores carbon for life, absorbed from the atmosphere by growing trees. When wood is harvested today, it's replanted for tomorrow. And that's why wood is the ultimate renewable. Locally owned and operated, Coffs Harbour Hardwoods provide a wide range of beautiful hardwood timber products to Australia for over 50 years. We are specialists in hardwood timber, including flooring, decking and much more. Coffs Harbour Hardwoods. Welcome to the beautiful Coffs Coast. 
We're lucky to have seven patrolled beaches, with Park Beach in Coffs Harbour patrolled 365 days a year. Remember to swim between the red and yellow flags, and the lifeguards will be watching out for you. Be careful swimming in our creeks. They can be dangerous on an outgoing tide. If you're unsure about the beach conditions, check with the lifeguard. Have fun and never swim alone. All right, so uh, we're back here ready for the second half between Aurora Valley Axman and the Sawtell Panthers. Ten points apiece at the moment. Shout out to uh, Bevo, Bev White on the live stream, and also and also Ross as well, both enjoying the the commentary. So thanks for the shout out. As Liam Dunn gets things back underway, Sawtell first use of the ball. So that's uh, Matt Smith with the first hit up of the second half. Good to be back. Great to be back here for the second half. Great game on oh. our hands, real close one. Ten These ran 50 metres. Because <laughs> I Those saw the ball kicking off and I was like, I have to get back. Those stairs into the commentary box, they're, they're tough. Oh, they sure are. All right. So Sawtell completing the first set. Just up over the 40 meter line. And they'll work it away. It's a testing kick here for Dunn. And he oh, does lovely. extremely well. Wow. Well, he gets, oh, he's still going. Gets out of three or four tacklers. Oh, there he's he goes. still going. Oh, he's Can still he get going. There? Can he get there? Oh, he's brought down 20 meters. Oh, a meter great down. run. His family from Newcastle will be so proud. Well, well, probably one of them, but... <laughs> Jared. Unbelievable play there. From Gil. Straight into his family at halftime. It's actually Hall, but... It's, he wants to be known as Gil, so... All right. Oh, oh I can see a try great, coming on, great. and there is one. <laughs> Zach beauty. Macklin, what a play. Takes you full advantage of a quick play the ball. Weaves his way through the defenders oh, and goes fantastic. over for a four-pointer. Yeah. Beautiful. Sensation. So the hooker sneaks his way over. Puts Arara in the in front, 14 points to 10 with the kick to come. He's looked likely all day, old Zach from Dummy Half. He's uh he's been taking plenty of runs out of there, nice little scoots and eventually Zach pays Kirby off. There you go, Tom Williams, sponsor of Zach Macklem. Is, is his last name Williams? Macklem? Oh, right. <laughs> it's a, yeah. There's a few people here. They've stuck around. Yeah, solid. Haven't, the weather hasn't scared many people off. Nice full grandstand to the left of us here in the commentary box. Yeah, I was chatting to Buddy's dad at halftime. Actually, I chatted to a lot of families at halftime. There you go. And um, when Buddy made that break at the first half, Buddy's dad said, yeah, he would have made it all the way five years ago. <laughs> what a slam. <laughs> Congratulations, successful there. Take the score out to Arara 16. Yeah, so the hooker converts his own try there, Zach Macklem. Um, 16 points to 10 are right now. Early lead in the second half. Oh, 
we've got to pretend like we're commentating now because <laughs> right. now there's a camera on us and that changes the game. That's it. The camera's down there. All right. That will end up in some sort of Facebook. Later. Oh, here goes Zach again. Oh, Zach with the hard run. Number 17, Scott Lacey, making a nice little run there. He's looking sharp. Oh, Scott. As we see, another tough carry there. Macaulay Dawson there. Good shot from the winger there, Jared Hall. Puts in a nice chase. Oh, looks like tell. There you go, a bit of pressure on him now. Close to that sideline. Good line speed here from Marara, putting great pressure on Sawtell. They've looked, they've looked intent this second half so far, Arara. Look at this. Look at this defence. It's a forced tackle. Oh, forced tackle. Yeah, he's going to kick early. The wing is back there to cover it. And so is Liam Dunn. Gets a nice bounce. Oh, he oh, loses his footing there the in the mud pit. <laughs> the old mud pit there. Okay. Looks so, okay. Kane Bunce back on the field. Back from injury, too. Oh, Scott Lacey. That's a great run there. Okay, Macaulay, Daw Macaulay Dawson busy again. Oh, unfortunately, ball's put down there in the middle, so saw tell off the hook, but Arara had 16 to 10. Blair Shoes is helping number 12 for uh, Sawtell get back onto the field. Number 12, yeah. He, he, he came to the game and he was like, I've got to get a, I've got to get a vest that matches the shoes. <laughs> okay, so we see Jacob Dollar come back onto the field as well for the try scorer from the first half. Back into the action. They saw Tell work it back out almost to the 40 meter line, but they're driven back with some solid defense there from the Axemen. There he is. There he is, big Jacob Dollar again. What a carry. Solid run. Back onto the field, making immediate impact there. As we see Saw put the kick in. There's Dunny. Uh, who is it? Look at him go. Oh, he's brought down a nice tackle there, though, from Sawtell. Now Rara back with the ball in their own half. Okay, Ronan Singleton getting in there, doing some work, giving his forwards a breather, as we see. He gathers it. Ball go back. Oh, he's called a knock on here. Yeah, because Jared Gill um, would, yeah, caught that and was going for the run. Okay, so an Araro mistake just short of the halfway. Sawtell, oh, right on the halfway. Here we go. Sawtell with a feed. Down by six, 16 to 10. Araro leading. Nine minutes gone in the second half. If 
Sonny J. We're getting oh. text messages. Just getting a bit of text messages through from uh, from my sister actually. Gemma Gemma's uh, watching it watching on at home. Shout out to the Stewarts down in Vala Beach. Alright, so Sortel on the attack here. 30 metres out. I've got a one-on-one -on -one strip there. Great, great oh, work. Yeah, Justin Hull with the strip there. Beautiful, beautiful play. Taking the pressure right off Arara. Action, go back over the pathway now. Let's see if they can add to the lead. Oh, big dummy there from the hooker again. Taking another run. Zach Macklin. He's had quite the game so far. And Jared Roberts pulled down just short of the 20 metre line. Oh. Kane up. running down the middle there. Kane Bud played the ball. We're going to go to the right. There's Beaumont. The pass goes to ground. And Ronan Singleton's caught up on the last there. So it'll be a changeover. Sawtell holding strong in the D there. Now they're going to work it out from their own uh, 10 metre line. So slow play the ball here from Sawtell. Doing it tough to get out of there in it half. Okay, another slow play the ball. And that's all my, that'll be the fourth tackle. Just outside the 30. A nice little inside ball there. Brings him back underneath. And that's the last tackle. I think they're going to try and kick it down. Oh, I think they wanted to avoid Liam Dunn there, but he's ended they up. They got with him the ball. anyway. They sure did. And he brings it back out, almost to the 30 metre line. Has a little laugh there as he <laughs> plays the ball. Must have enjoyed that tackle. So, up over the 40, early in the set. As we see another, another tough run here from Ronan Singleton, coming in to help out his forwards. Pretty good meters so far from Rara, which is good to see. Buddy Hart's off. He dummies it to the sky. Sawtell bench over there. Pretty quiet at the moment. Okay, as we see Kane Bunt take a big hit up. Pulled down, 25 meters out. Let's see what they can do on the last here. As we see Beaumont put up a huge bomb. Oh, it's perfectly weighted trouble oh it's still alive oh, and they're offside all right so that's bounce, a, bounce, bounce. It's a handy penalty there for Arara. they're going to go on the attack a couple of meters out from the line see if they can extend the lead currently 16 points to 10 are in front 27 minutes remaining in the second half Zach Macklin about to get things back underway. Or is he? Oh, they're going to opt for the two here. So they're going to go out by eight points. Smart play. Just waiting for the kicking tee now. Here it comes. Just uh, waiting for him to take the kick. Still, still plenty of time on the clock. Looking to take it out past the converted try, up to eight points here. So, so he sneaks it in just nice. inside the right stick there. So, Arara Valley 18, leading Sawtell 10. So you see the biff 
All right, so Zach Acklin involved with a bit of push and shove from the Sawtell Panthers. I thought someone ran onto the field. On the way back from taking that kick, a few words exchanged, a few pleasantries. So we're just going to wait and see what the, the touchies have to say here, the ref. Might be a few a few more simbins here. That means get the stopwatch ready. Or possibly stopwatches. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if they will get simbin. Well, he's already been simbin the same player in the first half, I'm pretty sure. So might be looking a bit more here. We'll just wait and see. I'm not sure what happened though, so... Who knows? All I saw was just a little bit of a few words exchanged after the penalty goal, so we'll wait and see. The referee calling out Sawtell, captain, I believe. So it's Jacob Dollar being called out here by the referee. He's already been sin binned earlier in the match. So that would be like a permanent sender? And he's sent off. <laughs> okay, number 10, Jacob Dollar sent off for the game. Number nine's being called out from the Rara. You always wonder what they're talking about. It's a long chat. That's a long walk. He's still walking, number 10. Okay, so Zach Macklem is sent to the sin bin. So it'll be 12 on 12 for 10 minutes. But Sawtell left with 12 for the rest of the game though, so... So start the stopwatch there for uh, Zach Macklem. 10 minutes. Got about 22 minutes left to play here. Arara's got the penalty. <laughs> you see Buddy Hart kick for the, kick for the sideline and finds it. Not a bad 30 one. 32 metres out. Didn't hit anyone though. As we hear the groans of the crowd. Close close call there I think in the, in the grandstand to taking a few people out. All right, Jerry Roberts with the first hit up. The old rubber. Okay, so McCauley uh, Dawson there take a few dump, throws a few dummies and eventually brought down on the 20 metre line. So currently 12 on 12. So we get Zach Macklin back onto the field. As Liam Dunn out the back with a nice little show of hands. All right. Yeah. He's the corner. I think the touchies called it. Uh. The touchies said he's knocked it on there. So it'll come back out to the 20 meter line. 20 meter restart for the Sawtell Panthers. 
still 18 points to 10 in, in favour of the Aurora Valley Axe League. With a fair bit to go in this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 21 minutes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right. Pushing out to the left and right. You know, the good thing about country footy is, is that there's no video ref. Or captain's challenge. <laughs> or centre of excellence. So how was that at the Tigers? No. <laughs> that was great. No, they've actually just... No, they probably didn't even build it. No. Probably wasn't even a thing. No, we were in the old uh, under the grandstand. It was an interesting show there. But yeah, they've got some good facilities yeah, coming in now, which is great. As we see a hit up. Do you have your own office? No. Oh. No. Just like a side desk or something. Yeah, just in the bullpen, mate. If you are, oh, as we see an ice ball here from Solitel. And an offload. Okay, there's JD McKechnie pulled down on the 20 metre line. As we see Solitel spread it through Dumas, puts in the kick behind. And well taken there by, by Jared Hall. So looks like Gil, Gil. Looks like he's pulled back into. <laughs> yep, they're going to come out for a 20 minute restart. <laughs> okay, so now we see Liam Dunn. Liam Dunn with the full pace. He's got support on the inside and the outside. Oh, he throws the dummy. And he's brought down by the Panthers. Full back. Good run there. Corley Dawson. Out to Buddy Hart. Out wide to Ronan Singleton. Singleton. Oh, he's pulled down just short of the line. The penalty all offside there from Sawtell, so they're going to have another full set. The Axemen looking to extend their lead, currently up 18 points to 10. Okay, pulled down just short of the line. Now we see Bowman. It looks it like line. they will go this end. Oh. Oh. Oscar Watson couldn't handle that one. So Sawtell with Fafid here, 10 metres out. As they get ready they won't be happy about, about that mistake, but Aurora, but they'll look to put a bit more pressure on here. Force another error and go back on the attack. It's a lot closer game than round one anyway. Oh, definitely. Sawtell's played pretty well so far. But they're going to be quite tested. Oh, nice. Oh, she's this. Okay. We thought we'd seen a one-on-one -on -one strip, but looks like there was... In the tackle, the referee saying. As Dumas kicks for touch, finds it 30 metres out from his own line. Hey, that's a new shed, guys. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Test the roof out of the canteen over there. Oh, that's a great shot. Oscar Watson forces the ball. Lucy, great, great tackle. Okay, Buddy Hart with the play of the ball. See Jared Roberts taking the hit up. Matthew Wakefield. Goes out. With Beaumont. Oh. The ball goes behind. And it's cleaned up by Dumas. 
Dumas is away, takes it up over the 45. 40, oh, pull down. All right, so Costa error there. Yeah! As we see. So we see an error from Sawtell, but Arara called offside. We were not looking for the 10. play on. They were not back we didn't 10. get it. Apparently, oh. it's a penalty. Penalty to Sawtell. So, cost the error down the end by um, Arara. Bit of a line break, and then now a penalty on the back of that. So, tough, tough couple of phases there for for the Axemen. As we see, Sawtell, full set of six in the Arara's half. Getting nice and vocal there, Arara. Oh, okay, so look, looks like a hand in there from Arara. What's the ref gonna, what's he, what's he got here? He's gonna have a look at his touching. Yep, first knock on from Arara, so Sawtell with the feed. Gonna call Lee Dawson getting a hand to the ball, to the Sawtell. Pass, which goes to ground, but the Panthers will go on the attack here. All we need is no errors, and that usually helps. Yeah. Works out pretty well. Get ready for the scrum. Sawtell's ball, which is unfortunate. Oh, a trick play out the back here from Sawtell. A bit of footwork from the number one. He's brought down 30 metres out. You ever good at trick plays or anything like that? <laughs> no. Take that as a no? No. Okay, number nine. Oh, he's brought down a nice tackle there. From Kane Bunt. Like Yen from Justin Hull. He's had a good game, old Hull. Sure has. Okay, so we're going to see Zach Macklem make his way back to the field shortly from the Sinbin, which will give Arara an extra person on the field. Nice little kick there behind the line from Dumas, but. <coughs> Liam Dunn does well to make it back out of the into the field of play. Good run there from Arara. Hey, if you can hop the way there, you still get the meters. Okay, so Kane Bunt Kane with Kane. a huge run oh, up the Kane. middle. Kane. Bust his Kane's way through. Break. Oh, the big ball locks it to him. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, it's amazing. Good boy. I'm not dreaming. The big fella. <laughs> Ford, or, or, Ford or fullback. Who knows? Matthew Wakefield. What a try. Kane Bunt to the hard yards. Found his fellow forward in the middle. Did excellently the draw in the fullback oh, and straight crazy. under the truck, under the post for a try. It's like he borrowed it back his Zach, pair of legs and just went. Zach, you're right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it. So that takes the score out down to 22 points to 10 with a kick to come. Oh, he sent off. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, so that was because he's second time. My bad. All right, so Zach straight back on the field. He's going to line up for the conversion. Yeah, it's 13 against 12. Hey, you run on the field and you get the conversion. Matt's journey sponsored area to Idle Inn Cafe. Idle Cafe, crowd supporters of Matt Wakefield and the Aurora Valley Axemen. Do you have a packet of uh, beef jerky at half time? No, you know, I should do that. I'm going to do that full time. Mm. I'm going to go and get jerky with it after the game. <laughs> RoroValleyJerky.com.au <laughs> yeah. Alright, 
So 24 to 10 now with that conversion from Zach Macron. And it'll be a 14 point lead with 11 minutes remaining. So number 16 is about to come on the field, getting a huge round of support, applause around from his family. Abuse, but no, it's definitely around. <laughs> so number 16 is Tom Tom Crossingham. So he's about to come into the action with the orange headgear, crowd favourite by the look of it. So keep an eye on him when he comes on the field. Yeah, big cheers. Kane Bunt with another strong carry up the middle. 24-10, looking like a good score. All right. Oh, buddy! Go, buddy! Buddy, buddy Hart. Through to... Oh, Beaumont. Beaumont with the... Oh, the ball away. Oh. Can't be handled by number by number two, Thomas Anderson. So, Sawtell off the hook again. But, yeah, some, some nice play there through the middle. Unfortunately, last pass goes to the ground. Really needed that last try, and we got it pretty well. Midfield ten. Mm. Be good to see Saltel kept down this end. Yep. Some strong defence here. I mean, which is kind of the obvious. You don't really want him at the other end. So Sawtell working out of their own half. Some good defence here in the second half from Moraro. Haven't yet, yet let, it, let in a try. Still 10 points, Sawtell. So we see the young fella on there now with the orange head gear, Tom, Tom Crossingham. So excited to see what he's got to, what got to offer. And he's in a bright orange head gear too. I oh know. As you see a little chip, chip kick from Sawtell, trying everything now to get back oh, in the game. Straight into Dunn, Cleaned man. up by Liam Dunn as he goes up over the 40 and dragged down just short of halfway. So, good. Another great clean up there from Liam Dunn. He's had a cracking game. Good run there from Jared Hall, Gill, or whatever. Jared Hall, here we go. All right. Macaulay Dawson now, caught just over the 20 metre line. Jared Roberts, now with another tough carry. We've got some numbers out here to the left, if they can get it. No, now it's closed off. They're going to go right. Oh, buddy hold, pass goes to Liam Dunn. Knocked back from the referee. Oh, I think the pass might have been knocked down there, but... Well, it's a penalty against Arara now, so. Oh. We just, we always just get so close, don't we? Mm. It's a penalty. So anyway, keep the spirits up, it's yep. important. Seven minutes remaining. Nice kick for touch there, a few metres. Almost, well, he's up to the 40 metre line, so. Siltel really need to try quickly if they're gonna stay in this game. Down by 14, seven minutes to go, so. Let's see. Gonna have to try something. Here we go. Dumas. Oh, he's taking him. Not Next. much happening there. He's making some strong defense by the young fella. Good defense here from Arara, it's just good to see. They might want to let a try in here. Definitely not. Gotta finish strong. Oh. Alright, 
So Sawtell, last, last tackle, 25 metres out. They really need to try quickly. And the kick from Dumas is cl cleaned up. Oh, Ducks under one tackle. Oh, nice Jared work. Hall, great work. Oh, he's still going. That's an excellent, excellent run. So Rara hang, hang on again. And they work it out of their own half with another good carry over the 40. From Ronan Singleton. So the wingers coming in to do some tough carries here, some helping out their forwards. Uh, Thomas Anderson with the run now, uh, up over the halfway. There we go, they spread it wide. Oh, the wingers. Got no, got no winger though. The winger's not there. Oh, oh he doesn't need it. Oh. Should have just kept running. Okay, so touch there by Sawtell. The ref's called a knock on, so Amara's going to have another set here. Another opportunity to put some more points on. Kane Bunt gets a round of applause as he comes to the bench. They certainly weren't applauding me. Excellent break through the middle to set up Mackinson. Uh, sorry. Uh, Wakefield before, so well earned um, round of applause for Kane Bunt. Just on four and a half minutes remaining. see Billy Dollar take it up for another hit up. Oh, it's called forward, forward pass there. So, Sawtell holding on yet again. Few tries gone begging, but Arara out to a comfortable lead, 24 to 10 at the moment. I'd say comfortable, not too comfortable. Yeah, well, three minutes remaining. Sorry? So only three minutes to go, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah comfortable lead then. They should get the job done. Should be able to. Shot there. Zach Macklin. It's the, the force is an error from Sawtell. So, oh, but the referees called it back for a penalty to Sawtell. For some random reason. Okay, so kick the touch here. Oh, no, oh maybe it could be ours. Oh, goes onto the bench though. Goes onto the bench. I was ready. Could be a kick there. Could have, could have been a catch there from Sam. Probably not. You never know, Kane might have caught it. So Damien Irvine backing up from Reggie's just takes a run there. Oh, good to see. We like saying that. Reggie plays back up. Yeah, well, the centre's played two full 80 minutes games for Sawtell, number 17 here. Coming on for that early injury. Oh, JD McKechnie few minutes in the legs so we've got just on two minutes remaining Sawtell with the ball just up over the halfway oh, what do we see here I think we're all right another hit up and then I reckon it, oh that's a good good tackle Zach Zachlin again another another big hit we might take that one <laughs> Keep yeah, yelling last tackle so he's put the gravel in behind I won't the repeat line. what the kid said but anyhow Oh, there's an error there from Marara. All right, so I'll tell, get a result from their grab up. Almost be the last use of the footy here, minute 45. By the time they pack the scrum. Let's hope they don't get a try. You don't want to say that. No.
And the rain stopped, which is good. Yeah, the rain... I mean, I know it stopped like an hour in there, but... Sort out with a penalty. 55 seconds on the clock. Arara looking to hold him out for no points in the second half. Uh, as we see a run here from... Can it be done? Oh, and a little scoot goes through. And what's that? he's held up over the line. So great defence from Arara. Well done. Huge see. round of applause from the crowd. Now the bellman is getting warmed up with the bell. The bellman's on his feet. As we see, Sortel spread it left. An intercept! Intercept! Oh, it's Here we go! Go, Jared! Go, Jared! Go, Jared! Okay, what about a finish from Gerald Hall? Oh. He got it down. A bit of a question mark about the put down. Oh! What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The referees denied him. He's going upstairs, which he doesn't have. He's going to check with his touchy here. The touchy. Okay. So Once again, doesn't have it. No try. All right. So that's the end of the match. Bizarre circumstances to finish the game. An intercept try. And the final score, 24 points to 10. You definitely have to watch that on the replay. Watch that on the replay. Because the cameraman, yep, he's, he's telling us, have a look on YouTube and watch the replay of that put down. Unfortunately, the referee's called knock on, but anyway, so uh, Aurora Valley finish up 24 points to 10 victors um, here at Caramba Sports Ground. Thanks everyone for joining us on the live stream of those that are watching at home. Yeah, it's been really great. Pr appreciate your support. Really great. Sorry, so. I'm still standing after that last <laughs> no try. <laughs> Bit of excitement to finish the game. and um, But yeah, so repeating the scores from today. In first grade, Aurora Valley 24, Sawtell 10. In reserve grade, Sawtell 32 points, beat Aurora Valley 10. In ladies league tag, Aurora Valley 20 points, beat Sawtell 6. So that's, uh, that's about it from us here at Kramer Sports Ground. Thanks again. Thanks to, thanks to all the sponsors as well who got behind the Axeman. And we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.